Green on. Good morning, chili dogs. What you focus on grows. Feed them horses. We got three more pots coming at you guys. Oh, there's some spider webs. I literally cannot stand spiders, you know. But three more pots coming your guys' way. I'm a little bit invisible right now. I got my green screen shirt on and my jorts. So I'll see you guys over there in a second. Green off. You two. Hand right over here. Those two lanes of traffic that pushing that pole. Lean that clay right up. Nice. Okay. Again, a little bit of water. This bottom edge and bring this up. Somebody says good morning. Thank you. You too. Okay, go right down to the base. Camera A. Some more water. We're gonna stop right when we get to that edge. Okay. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think we gotta stop here, right? Just right below where it gets thin. I'll leave it just like that. We got a lot of extra clay on this bottom edge here. And so that's gonna collapse down, probably on the other side too, as I keep spinning it. It's gonna sit right on that spiral there. There we go. There's number one, guys. All right, camera C. I'll set this over. Just right down that middle. Slowly bring this over to the side here. Great. Again. Camera C. All right, open this up. Thumbs down. A little bit of water on the interior there. Hook my finger. Cut right across this edge here. Nice. Find that bump. You can feel it starting to push a little bit too much. Okay, I think I'm gonna chill out right here. Okay. Right here.
<laughs> Get a bunch of little layers, right? So we can get this to collapse over here. Nice. I'll show you what we did on the interior here. So camera C, camera C. So you guys can see how I created a nice fold. So I did a double fold. We'll do in outs on this one. So how we go in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in. Call these tabs, right? So, some tabs on the bottom here. Get back up to peak temp. Okay, wipe some clay right on my pants here. Camera B. The cracks and stuff. Um, the crazed parts. You can fire back in the kiln and it will get rid of all the stains in between the crazing. So if you ever need to show a cup, you can also do that sort of thing to fix it. A little water right on this rim here. Push this forward. Anyway, take my finger. I'm pushing this in ever so slightly. I feel like I don't really like this one, guys. We'll kill it. You guys can see the interior, though, at least on this one. You can see how it all collapses and folds and stuff. It's kind of fun. You can see how I'm trying to... Uh, the bottoms are so paper thin. It's like small stuff here. That's okay, we got one more coming up then. Invisible shirt. <laughs> yeah. Alright, camera C. Camera C. Pottery shelf. Camera B. Oh, we get some air bubbles in there. So we'll see that in a little bit later. So what I'll have to make sure I do is when I cut across, I gotta hunt for that air bubble. One of the really cheap wheels on Amazon though, if you wanna really grow into it, right? If you want to get a small wheel, Shimpo makes some small wheels, but they're a little bit expensive. I think it's like $500 for one of their small ones, but it's a nice wheel. And so I think if I was starting out, I'd get something like that. But then I'd look on a website called Kilnshare, and I'd look for places that you could fire your work. And I'd also go to local um, art centers, because they might be able to fire your work for you best to just make your own glazes.
six, seven, eight. Pedal skip, pedal skip, pedal skip, and pedal. Why is it not moving? Skip. There we go. A four pedal. Wait to this bottom edge. Pull this out. Hello, everybody. We're back again with another pottery review. I'm going to talk a little bit about this one today, too. Uh, I had one mess up today. Well, it's not that I just didn't love the piece, so I destroyed it, and I remade something similar. It's not the exact same, but it's it's close in the same realm, where I do the tangles, or not the tangles, the veins of the pot in one full pull upwards. And so you can see how that looks different than some of the ones maybe yesterday, or even these two, I think I walked them up just a tad, but not in one go like this one. So it's kind of cool to see how they slowly twist up, right? Sometimes I look at them and it almost reminds me of like looking upwards towards like the top of a tree, right? When it gets so far upwards and you're looking up, all that texture is condensed, right? On the bark and everything. So it looks like it's twisting, maybe not twisting, but it just looks condensed or compressed like how that one is, right? I really like this one. I did like a couple of different bands where I pull out in different areas. Oh no, another spider web. Yuck. Maybe that was my hair. Or no, I think that was a spider. Okay. Anyway, now I'm freaked out that they're crawling on my legs. <laughs> but I did the top of the trees in different sections. And so sometimes they fold over. So it almost looks like it's hovering on top of that tree form there. So I really like that. I mean, look at that shadow that's right underneath there. I really am appreciating some of the qualities of that one. Um, and I also did tabs on this one. We haven't done tabs in a little bit. So the skirt has tabs where the first one here that had petals. And then this one on top has tandrels. I did the tandrels all around those. So it's functioning more like a pattern. Um, I've been experimenting more with different ways to end off the tandrels. So I think I've learned some things from the past two days uh, in the past pots, but uh, you can't really see them on this one. I think I'd have to turn it a little bit to see the folded ones. And then this one's kind of doing something similar, but I didn't really do it. I didn't pop out multiple. I just did one and I kept that interior kind of, or that top rim just kind of pulled up and it collapsed a little bit on one side. But I always kind of like how they're just kind of like, you know, they look like they're standing or something, right? Anyway, thanks so much for watching. All the best and strong mentality.